Hi, this is Travis Shaw with the Virginia Piedmont Heritage Area here with Amory Kirilason as we continue our journey through the village of Aldi. Uh, right behind us is one of the more prominent landmarks here in town. Um, it's a home known today as the Berkeley House, uh, named after one of the more prominent families to live here in Aldi during the 19th century. Um, the Berkeleys achieved their prominence during the American Civil War when four brothers from the same family who all grew up in this home went off to war with the 8th Virginia Infantry in 1861. Um, very shortly after joining the regiment, all four brothers would find themselves as officers in the 8th Virginia, giving the regiment the nickname the Berkeley Regiment. Um, now, the 8th Virginia was involved in some of the heaviest fighting of the American Civil War and would see especially horrendous casualties during Pickett's charge on the third day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, three of the four Berkeley brothers would be captured during the uh, Battle of Gettysburg and the remaining brother would be wounded but survive. Um, all four brothers would survive the war and eventually return to the Aldi area where they would again make themselves extremely prominent in the community up through the early 20th century, um, living at nearby homes such as Stoke. Um, now, the Berkeley brothers and the 8th Virginia are not the only Civil War connection that we have here in Aldi. Uh, Amory, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. So um, only a few short weeks before the Battle of Gettysburg on June 17th of 1863, the Civil War came home to Aldi. Uh, now at that time, of course, General Lee is heading up the Shenandoah Valley um, and Jeb Stewart is sent to screen his movements from the United States Cavalry under Pleasanton. Pleasanton is going to send his officers down the turnpike here, um, trying to throw off the Confederate screen to reveal what Lee is up to to discover his movements. The Confederates are going to be able to uh, deploy a number of tactics to delay um, delay the progress of the United States troopers. Um, and, and really, Aldi is one of the main thoroughfares at which um, conflict is going to occur. With all of the nooks and crannies, the dips and rises of the roads here, thanks to the hills of the Piedmont, it becomes a perfect cat and mouse game um, as they throw each other off of hillsides and out of ravines and so forth. Now. As we know, there are a number of individuals living here in Aldi um, during the Civil War during this time, and we do have a couple of first-hand accounts that were left to us. One of them, incidentally, was an account left by Ellen Tyler, who is a young wife at this time, and she's boarding across the street from, from where I am here um, at what is now called the Old Rectory here in Aldi. Her husband, another Edmund, like um, Edmund Berkeley, Edmund Tyler is coincidentally serving with the 8th Virginia at this time while Ellen is boarding at the rectory. And as Union troopers come through town early on the, uh, during the day of the 17th, she witnesses out the second story window, a Union soldier and officer stand up in his stirrups and he shouts, I'll take that damn hill if it takes all my men. Speaking about the rise going up Snickersville Turnpike from here um, up on the Adam Farm. Now, Ellen's main takeaway from this was not to be scared so much for her hometown um, or scared for her country as we hear from a descendant in the family, she was most upset at the foul language used by this Yankee. Um, Ellen herself is interesting because her father was a noted unionist in the area. Um, her birth name is uh, Davis and her father was a man who was so known for his ties to the northern cause that they called him Yankee Davis. Um, so we can see that the Civil War did divide not just father and son, but maybe sometimes father and daughter too uh, here in the Virginia Piedmont. There is much more to say about the Battle of Aldi, um, especially uh, the encounters up and down the Snickersville Turnpike. Um, so I think we're going to head there next. Before we do though, I'd just like to point out that the Berkeley House is a privately owned home. It is not open uh, to the public, so you'll have to admire it from your car as you go by. Um, but it has been lovingly preserved. Um, the owners have taken tremendous care of it and done a great job of restoring it. So again, another perfect example of historic preservation here in the Virginia Piedmont. So with that, let's head up the turnpike.